Um, one thing to think about funding is it's probably the one area that even a successful faculty normally fails at. And so when I write a paper, I expect it to be published. When I write a grant, I hope it will be funded. And even if I have a good track record, it still means most of the time it's not. And so you have to have a fairly thick skin and cast a fairly wide net to try to get your idea funded. You have to write the proposal for somebody who has a cold, his wife just told him that she's going to divorce him, his dog is going to just died, sitting on the plane flying to Washington, is in a terrible mood, and you want that person to stand up for your proposal. That's the person you have in mind. Okay, I try to uh, you know, write proposals where uh, you know, I, I tell people, hey, this is, this is what excites me about this topic. Uh, and it's, I think there's some more important opportunities that will uh, you know, benefit the, the field as a whole or even society more broadly. Have somebody look over it, talk with people, get, get feedback um, from people who have been there. Um, whatever the granting agency is, NSF, NIH, or some uh, private foundation who has been successful for that particular agency, ideally in this particular area, that's not limited to a young researcher. I still do this 20 years in. The other thing that I learned from is uh, from publications. It turns out uh, if you look at the end of almost any paper in the literature, you'll see that it acknowledges agencies that supported that research. And so uh, you can learn from that. Okay, what kinds of research are supported in, you know, by which agencies? So that, that's a valuable thing. Serving on study sections is not something that can happen right away when you're a new investigator. Um, but certainly serving on study sections and on panels has helped me become a better grant writer. Uh, seeing really good grants, seeing really bad ones. And, and understanding why they are the way they are is a really useful way of helping your own grant writing process. So I've been on, on NIH study sections for many years and the, the kind of umbrella um, announcement find is typically no problem there. But for the specialized announcement where people try to make their research fit to whatever it says in the announcement, that never works. Um, the same thing goes uh, with various uh, foundations. You have to really say, okay, how does that, that fit the mission of that foundation? A really important thing to do that I always advise young faculty is to reach out to program officers. Um, call them up and talk to them about your idea and say, hey, listen, I'm thinking that this idea is really exciting, something I want to work on. I think it would be perfect for your agency. What do you think? Is it a good fit? and have them honestly tell you whether it's a good fit or not. I would say if you have just one idea, uh, yeah, usually big uh, grants require more than one idea. Uh, but if you have just one great idea, you can go to a smaller agency, uh, Petroleum Research Fund, for example, of ACS, uh, or maybe to some uh, place uh, on campus where they provide uh, st um, breach funding or startup funding for new ideas. If you want to work with industry, it's kind of a very simple recipe go to where they are, go to Gordon Research Conferences, do research they may be interested in. When you go give talks at companies, um, try to make the talk something that they may actually see, see where there's a, an alliance that could be formed. S reach out to them. Companies are very pragmatic. They look and they say, is this useful? Will this lead to more profit? OK, we'll fund you. They don't care anything about you. They don't care. You could be a green goblin with no pedigree at all from, from Mars. But if you told them, I have this science that may be really useful for your product, they will fund you.